Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. I am your host. Hopefully you enjoyed the music while it was gone, but I'm back and I brought Dr. Stuart Lustig. He's here to talk about the resiliency of America. Hmm, wonder what's that about. Dr. Lustig, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Thank you, Valder. Good to be with you today. What about this resiliency of America? What do you mean by that? Well, right now we are living through unprecedented times, Valder. Of course, we're in the midst of a COVID pandemic. Uh, we're trying to homeschool our kids or get them back safely, depending on where folks are living. Uh, we are dealing with the uncertainty all around us at this point. And resilience, which is our ability to bounce back from these kinds of adverse circumstances, that is at risk in 60% of Americans surveyed using the Cigna Resilience Index. That was the result of our study. 60% percent of Americans have resilient scores that are at risk. I want my audience to know that Dr. Stuart Lusting is a National Medical Executive for Behavior Health at Cigna. Okay, so uh, the resilience of Americans, that's always been uh, two, two countries I know, America and Britain. You know, we talked about, we talk about our resilience, how we persevered through World War One and two and different wars and things like that. But now we're at a pandemic an invisible in an enemy. Are there any um, ideas of how to uh, keep that resilience going? Well, Valder, you put the historical context out there very clearly, and you're right. These are really unique times. Uh, you know, there is a silver lining in all of this uh, to building resilience, and that is that we're all born with an inherent amount of resilience. So that's a good thing. Uh, but then what we found in our index is that resilience tends to drop as kids uh, move through adolescence. So starting at age 11, and there's a U-shaped curve, actually, so it kind of drops down. And then when kids hit uh, 18 to 23, uh, that's the low point, that's the, the risk zone, and then it comes back up again. So that's the other part of the U. And then resilience builds up actually as, as people become uh, parents themselves. So uh, we can build resilience. There are some ways to do that, uh, but uh, we start off at least with some inherent resilience as well. I know you guys did a survey to get these kind of answers to come back to you. You looked at the American workforce, you looked at a work performance. Can you give us a, just a bit uh, from that survey? Sure. So we did look at the workforce as well as kids. And what we found is that 37% uh, of the American workforce that we surveyed uh, has optimal resilience. And the more resilient workers were those that were working. Uh, so the less you work, the less resilient you are. So full-time workers are more resilient than part-time workers, uh, who in turn are both more resilient than furloughed workers. And then unemployed workers are those with the lowest resilience scores. Uh, so that was the, 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 that's what we found in terms of workplace resilience. Uh, we also found some really interesting associations with lower resilience. So for kids, uh, it's the ones who are dealing with physical and mental difficulties and don't feel good about themselves. They don't feel like they fit in. Uh, for the workers that I mentioned before, they are uh, feeling less satisfied with their work environment, more likely to quit. That's a mouthful. That really is. So these findings that you have, do you send them out to employers so they can understand? Because remember, the airlines just laid off 280,000 people over the last week. So do they know and understand this? It, it, it's a staggering number that you just mentioned. I, the, the, I, we're in the millions of people who are affected. We have a lot of the information that I just mentioned on our website, so we have some good fact sheets. Uh, people can take the resilience index themselves, uh, and this is all at signaresilience.com. Other tips and pointers are also available to there. People are really in a lot of pain right now and need a grow forth approach to resilience, where grow is G-R-O-W, ground yourself in the situation, recognize what you can control, organize your resources, and work, W, work with your community for additional support. This has been very eye-opening, uh, Dr. Stewart. I got to go take a look at that survey because 
I know people who are affected by this in so many ways. One of my uh, audience members told me that they lost their sister yesterday to COVID-19. This is real, this is happening, and we need some tools. So maybe this can be a tool to help others. Thank you so much for being my guest on the Valder Bibi Show. I really appreciate it. Valder, thank you for having me today. Hi, I'm Valder Bibi. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.